So, all right, let's bring on our, our next guest, an incredible, incredible artist, um, Anastasia. Is there she is? Oh my, see, this is what artists do. Jody, look at this. She just came on our screen here and she's blowing me away. Wow, right? Stefan organized this too. Stefan put this together. Anastasia, wow. Wow. Welcome. Welcome to the Global you, Vision yeah, Conference. So How are you? We, are you I am you, so... Hello. Yes. Hello. Welcome. Tell, what is this art behind you? Tell us about this piece that is framing your your beautiful oh, head. You. Well, it's a it's a custom piece for one of my clients uh, for her special uh, move-in for her first home. So I created a special piece for her. And uh, it's going to go to her new house uh, by the end of the month. Wow. Well, we are honored that we have it behind you, highlighting you. <laughs> where, where, did, you. where did your vision to be an artist come from? Well, uh, it happened a uh, very uh, true traumatic experience of uh, me going through a very difficult time of my life. And basically, it was my life before and after the art uh, right now and it was my expression of my inner uh, trauma emotions and uh, freedom you know I was mm. freeing myself through this uh, beautiful expression and slowly it becomes something that I start sharing with the world and um, sharing my message with the world and now it's becoming more than that now it's People noticing, people um, actually want to, you know, um, have some of my pieces in the houses, and I truly believe that's uh, the way for me to to share my thoughts, my message to the world. Wow! And my heart, your heart, <laughs> yes, yes, your heart, and so you know, Jody, what I'm hearing today in a theme with a lot of people is these visions came from pain or trauma or difficult times. And what a, what a day that so many people globally are in fear and, and, and petrified, literally some petrified in fear, but looking at it that what can come out of this? What can come out of this pain and this trauma? And look at you. Oh my goodness, you've let your heart out. What's come out is a new level of being where anything is possible and it's safe to be yourself. It's safe to be who you are and it's safe to actually speak your message through their expression that you choose. Either it's a speaking or either it's art by painting, either it's music. Everyone have their place. Um, in this universe exactly how they are who they are and uh, it's absolutely safe I hope that's what's gonna be open for them more and more people so what what made you feel safe to share your heart through your art um, safe vulnerability is one of the most powerful forces mm and one of the most powerful platform to connect to each other so to me sharing my message my pain my experience transformation and uh, um, is the most vulnerable space because nobody knew who i am nobody knew what i'm going through or went through until i start sharing and i realized that we all going through the same thing in a different um frames but our experiences, our emotions and pain are very deeply connected. So by expressing yourself, by showing up, by being who you are, you connect to other person's heart and help them lift themselves up and actually being fearless and going after what they find important for them. So that's what makes me feel safe, knowing that I find a connection through my vulnerable expression mm. and um, this way we create like this vortex of free people and open people 
<laughs> wow. Go ahead, Jody. Yeah, I just said uh, that, you know, kind of showing your true colors and and just sharing it because it is it's, it's contagious. Mm. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, and it reminds me of our last our last guest, Tim, talking about the pain that these fathers are in, these adults, these men that have to be so strong that and they just stuff it. And we artists learn to go inside and bring beauty out of our pain. There's a there's a, a, a scripture uh, crowns for for um, for ashes. I'm going to give you crowns out of your ashes. I'm going to God is going to create crowns and and your art is crowns out of pain. And so it's it's just very interesting the power of you as you speak of your vulnerability with such clarity. You're absolutely clear of your artistic vision, and there's a great there's a great silent power to it. Thank you. Well, uh, to me, it's more than a painting. It's more than mm. beautiful colors. It's a true, one hundred percent expression of the poor moment where I'm at. So, as I shared with you, just a couple of months, one month and a half ago, I started seeing a dreams of words of names of god on hebrew and i, I don't know hebrew i'm christian i just started um Kab kabbalah for about one year and a half ago but those words just started coming to to me and they just downloading and i see visions they see clear pictures so i have no agenda from this uh process other than just being and expressing and putting it out there. And I know this is a poor um, wave and poor energy that has to be manifested. What comes out of it, I have no idea. But this is not something that I'm worrying about. I know I'm safe, I know I am gu guided, and it's been extremely amazing experience seeing how many doors open just by being in the process and really doing nothing than surrender to the talent, surrender to uh, the flow, and doors are open. Look, we are talking on this conference right now. Whoever knew that I'm gonna be like three years ago, if you would tell me that I'm gonna be talking about me being an artist and what it has come from, I would never believe that. Right. We were we had a we met for coffee and we had during this yes. transition that you were making and absolutely yeah you were, you were on that path. It's been how many three years only? Not even. It's amazing, and I'm telling you, Jody, from that moment that we sat sat down together and we talked, it's been extremely. It's been like this. I've been invited to so many different places and because I start expressing myself and showing that part of me, you know, and that's been so effortless. And that's what I want to others to understand. That's my message. Life is effortless. It is, you know, a process. You gotta make steps, but those steps are gotta be in flow. You, you're flowing, you're accepting, surrendering, giving, and it's like constant flow. And that's amazing. Well, what about, and I have this question for both of you, because a lot of people might say, they might say, well, you know, I'm just, I'm not artistic. So mm -hmm. they might think that they can't get into that flow because maybe they do work in finance and they're just kind of doing the machine. So what advice would you give to someone like that? Well, that's interesting that you know, just finance, because that's my heavy background. I love a financial world. I love business world. That's also another part of myself. What I would say, um, that's a mental activity and that's amazing to have. We got to understand that our heart is our guidance system. Our mental, emotional, all the system are, um, they are helping our heart to manifest this vision. So we got to come back to this feeling of, um, what inspire us what makes us feel great so i would recommend uh, journaling and slowly step by step you cannot do it in one day you gotta say say yes 
every day just something that makes you inspired. It's always something. It may be beautiful colors, it may be beautiful music, it may be dancing, but every single day say yes and make a time for making your soul dance every day. And then slowly, very slowly, it become a process where you cannot say no anymore and you have to. Like I have to wake up and start painting because I have this vision mm. and I paint and I come back to my business. It's, it's works. Everything, you know, can be too. Everything can work together. You don't have to say yes and no to something. You can build your life in a way that works for you and your full expression. I love it. You know, it's also like this, this thing where you, you know, a lot of people say they just can't get out of bed in the morning. They're dragging, they're hitting snooze 20 times. <laughs> what, what, what do we tell? What do we, what advice can we share for that? If you cannot wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. you lose your sense of wonder. You know, if we cannot wake up in the morning, we predict oh my god it is the same day i know exactly what happened it's gonna be this this and that i have this client or i have this problem you already wake up in the past you are not waking up to a possibility to a miracle what i would say give yourself i understand we live in a society where we have to plan everything and you know i work in finance i you do you know a lot of business during the day i know what it is However, give yourself permission to have a miracle uh, every day, a couple of you know, hours a day. And meditation is extremely important, being in silence. And that's an effort from the beginning. It has to be a conscious effort, it's like going to the gym. You gotta make an effort until your body moving you towards the gym, right? Same thing with your mental health and your emotional health you gotta make an effort and yes you gotta sit down every single morning in meditation and sit there until you say consciously i'm done with meditation now we're gonna go and you know decide our problems or whatever i have so for about 60 days yeah <laughs> anastasia how does how does art heal how does because i was now i didn't even know that you knew jody when i met you <laughs> no this is how it's this is how it's happening that the day i met you i did not even know you jody i was at uh yelena's women of peace event and um it just happened uh, yelena invited me and i invited a bunch of other but anyway i was the only guy and it was a great day um and during the the lunch break I had a bunch of invites to di different tables and I just felt, you know what? I just want to be at peace and I'm feeling something in this room. And I go around the corner and there is this, this beautiful energy, this beautiful woman on the floor with the big canvas painting. And I gave her her space. I just sat, I, I, I sat and I, I drank my, um, my juice and I just watched and you could feel the safe space around you. And um, then a woman came over to me and said, um, I would like to tell you of a healing I just had at the other place about you being here in this woman's event. And she told me this miraculous healing and she's crying and I'm hugging her and we're right there with your art. And she was safe to be with us and to share this miracle that she had at Yelena's event. And then I got to say hello to you. And so there's power in art. There's a tr an attraction, there's a healing, something, a healing way about art and the whole energy of it. Tell me about the healing a, a power of art. Well, there is a different ways that art um, can heal, and it's true. Actually, being you know in the presence of when art is making and doing, creating your own art by connecting to yourself, and there's a healing through um, colors that you are choosing. There is a vibration of the color that can connect to your brain and your neuron uh, connection and really heal very deep um, traumatic experience. That's a scientific fact. Um, so 
when we are in a space of human being that 100% who they meant to be, we uh, automatically have a permission to be who we are. That's how safe space is created. That's what we've been experiencing at this moment mm. that, you know, at the, the, the event that I was in 100% of, you know, in connection with the process. And that woman felt safe to be who she is without judgment. Mm. And that's what, how um, the safe space created. And um, by working through with kids and uh, with other people through art therapy, um, we like to create from inside. So there is deep connection to your traumatic experience. And from that space, you basically put on canvas everything that come out of you. You're choosing colors and you paint them. And it, that's, a process of healing when you take it from the inside and bring it to the outside and let it, it go and basically recreate uh, whatever you choose to have so if there is no it's never too late to have a beautiful life it's beautiful past you always can recreate uh, anything uh, mm -hmm. and i believe through art that's very possible because you connect your vision, you connect your emotions, you connect your, you're physically doing something. So the whole being is creating, mm. you know, that's, that's what I feel. That's what I experienced. That's what I lived through. And that's what I can speak from, you know, from my experience. And that's what I can share with people. And that's amazing. I, in a sense of Anastasia, it's like uh, we, we do things to get inspired for our vision and we take it in. And yeah. what you're saying sounds like it's like an applied, like then we take all of that and we put it into action. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my Anastasia. You are a delight. You are a delight. Thank you. And um, I'm just, I'm grateful that you allowed me into your space that day that you allowed me into your space and that's where i needed to be for that hour not at a lunch or all with people i needed to be there with you and here we are in this moment and i didn't know you knew my sister jody i didn't know that she's a part of your journey and here we are today when i booked you for the global vision conference i did not know you two even met and so um it's a wonder it's a wonder do you have anything um, you would like to share before we, we move to our next guest? Well, I would like to share that life is a, uh, it is a miracle. Life is a miracle when you're flowing and when you're really truly connected and you when you go to forward with your heart fully open and you're fearless and understanding that there is nothing to be afraid of. Mm. And I'm extremely, extremely amazed and grateful and I'm just grateful for the connection that we made and through the journey that I've had and to the opportunity to share actually what, um, you know, my experience with you and uh, with people who are watching. Um, and I'm extremely excited because, you know, what are you doing is amazing. You're touching so many hearts. You're sharing this with the world. That's, um, and I am excited to see this world being awakened especially because i'm a mother and i'm raising kids and i know where we are building the world for them and there is nothing more exciting than seeing the world of fully expressed individuals that mm. are not afraid of who they are that they're showing themselves fully and when that happens there is no space for depression there is no space for drugs there is no space for violence because we all so content in our being so thank you for opportunity thank you for who you are and i am wishing you a lot of exposure and support and everything your journey is amazing thank you we receive it we receive it thank you thank you thank you anastasia thank you so much yeah thank you